Hi guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about virtual desktops update version 1.18. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? If it's your first time here, two VR Essentials, big welcome to you, very nice to meet you. And of course, a big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you here on the channel among us. In case you're not familiar with what virtual desktop is, it's basically an amazing piece of technology developed by a cool guy called Guy Godin, which basically enables you to stream any game or PC VR title directly from your PC onto your Facebook Oculus Quest or Facebook Oculus Quest 2. Now do note that you will need a Facebook account in order to access the Oculus Quest 2, they have already been proven to have broken antitrust and anti-competitive laws. As I mentioned, Guy Godin has developed an amazing piece of technology and it's really unfortunate that at the moment it's purely compatible with the Facebook Oculus Quest 2. There are wireless VR headsets including the Pico Neo 2 which I believe could really benefit from Guy Godin's technology and skill set. This is because while you can also very similarly to virtual desktop stream any of your PC VR titles directly on your VR headset without any tethered cables of any kind, it is very much touch and go and I believe the virtual desktop actually performs better than the Pico Neo 2. Go and check out the other videos which I had done about a virtual desktop including how to set it up and also all the various different experiments that I had done in order to provide you tips and tricks for the best optimal performance. Alright so now let's talk a little bit more about the virtual desktop updates version 1.18. But before I do remember to hit the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I upload another cool video. Guy Godin has apparently managed to remove 10 milliseconds per frame so this should drastically improve the latency. Do leave a comment below so you can share your thoughts with the community after you've done your update to let us know whether it really has made a big difference. For those who might find this useful, basically Virtual Desktop now enables you to have a performance overlay which gives you a breakdown of the actual latency, giving you some indication as what you can improve around in your play space to optimize the performance even more. Apparently there are some compatibility bug fixes, especially with Stormland, Star Wars Squadrons, as well as the Climb, so it'd be really cool after you do your update whether you could test some of these apps and leave a comment below so you can share with the rest of the community how much of an improvement you feel there really has been. And apparently Virtual Desktop version 1.18 now comes with a brand new home environment which you can choose up to three different ambient settings including a fully animated cityscape background. If you've been using Virtual Desktop for quite a while, this I would imagine will be very refreshing for you and for those who are not familiar with Virtual Desktop, it comes with an array of different environments including for example a cinema where you could watch your movies on or also a home kind of home office where you have a desktop and you can play all your games on a virtual screen. By the way, you may want to go and check out some other cool videos which we uploaded very recently including what we know in the Ready Player 2 book which is going to be released very very soon as well as the details about the Decca Gear VR headset which is set to come out next May in 2021. Now of course today's video only highlights the key updates for Virtual Desktop version 1.18 so do go to the link description below the like button which will redirect you to the official Virtual Desktop updates page.